Okay, we're at Western Iowa Tech here today. We're going to do another video on torquing. And what we're going to talk about is uh, adapters and extensions where we have to get like to an area. This is for two-stroke dirt bikes, real common uh, Motion Pro accessory here, where we want to get into a cylinder stud that's covered up by something above and we can't get a traditional socket onto that fastener. So with that, uh, when that happens, we use these extensions what's ultimately going to happen is we're going to change the length of the torque wrench because we're going from, when we set this desired set point, we're going from this distance to this distance. So we've increased it. If you take these, uh, any adapter out there and set it at 90 degrees, it will cancel out that length because now we're at the same distance. Well, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to prove it. Another thing we're going to use today we're going to use a crow's foot, which doesn't seem like a lot, but we'll be able to see that it does change the length and it will alter the torque. And if we're going to do it right, we might as well do it right. So we'll go ahead and model these uh, different tools here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and prove that the torque wrench with nothing on it will actually, it's set at 25 foot pounds here. I'm going to go ahead and see what we come up with for a base test here. Got 25.38. Matter of fact, get another student in here. Okay, real similar results on this, so we feel good about what we'll we have. We'll go ahead and switch it out now. We'll just stay uh, focused on this. And we're going to uh, put a mock bolt in here. We just welded up a, a bolt to an adapter here so that we can model what this would look like. Now, I'm going to use it the correct way, uh, use it incorrect first. I'm going to go ahead and lengthen this torque wrench. Okay, and we'll see what we come up with here. Okay. okay ready? Okay, you can see we went about six pounds over, almost seven pounds over. Correct, I'll do it again just to verify. Take this here, and I move this to 90 degrees. We'll see. Okay, off a pound. I'm not perfect on here. Second attempt, it's still off a hair, but with an acceptable amount when it stays there. green. Okay. Now we're going to switch to the uh, crow's foot extension. These are another common tool to get into a recess. So we're just going to do the whole thing over again. And we're going to have it too long, and we're going to see what we come up with. 26.6, 26.6. Okay, I'm getting real consistent numbers there. So I'll go ahead and move that to a 90. And remember our goal is to get to that 25. So it, it, even this little distance makes a difference. You're changing the length of the torque wrench. So uh, this was cool. We've never taken the time before to uh, use the calibration tool to actually show uh, that lengthening the torque wrench can give us real good proven results. And one thing we always want to do is we always want to go back prove that something hasn't changed on our test, some variable didn't happen, torque wrench failed or something, <laughs> that's pretty dang sweet right there to zero that out. That just kind of made my day. <laughs> All right, anyway, you want to try that one? Awesome. So we proved it, it changes it, and uh, that was the goal of this, to get it into a uh, into our head that anytime we use an extension, we want to make sure set that to 90 degrees and don't have to worry about it. I mean, this comes with actual instructions to do the math and to calculate it and tell you what it would change the torque to. We don't need to. Just set it to 90 degrees, use it, and be done with it. Make sense?